Hello everybody, it's Carrie. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. So happy to see you today. Happy Monday, you guys. Um, or as Carson said on his video from earlier today, T-G-I-M. <laughs> Never heard that before. That was a good one, Carson. Um, so I'm here with a really exciting video. Um, I have my basket and this is going to be my top 10 summer scents. Um, I'm participating in the tag. I was tagged by Susan Fitzpatrick, who I love and adore. So hi, Susan. Thank you so much for tagging me. Um, I've watched a couple of videos from y'all about your top 10 summer scents and it's just so fun like for me to watch and see what everybody's loves are when it comes to summer, um, what similarities we might have, what differences we might have. Um, so I'm getting around to watching all of them. So thank you all so much for sharing. Um, so I do have my basket and you know, I heard Susan say it is hard like to narrow it down to just 10. Um, now we all know that fall is my favorite season without a doubt but i do love me some summer too so um this was really fun to go through and pick my top 10 favorite scents for the summertime now i wasn't really sure um if this was supposed to be limited to vendor or retail most of mine are vendor but i do have two in here that are retail so i hope that's okay um yeah so let's get started and then i am going to tag two people and i will um do that at the end so here we go okay so let me just go ahead and do my two retail ones um yeah you know because i have no shame in saying that i shop retail wax i love retail wax um mainly walmart um because sometimes I can find scents there that like you can't find anywhere else. And for the most part, what I do get at Walmart performs amazingly well in my house. So that being said, um, and this should not be a surprise to y'all at all, but this right here, Tropical Pina Colada, Walmart Better Homes and Gardens, and actually, I mean, I don't want to say I'm going to limit this to just, you know, Walmart. Any kind of pina colada is like my jam for the summer. Um, oh, oh my gosh. I mean, what's not to love? Like, first of all, it's just like such an iconic summer drink. Um, yes, I do enjoy a pina colada during the summer. Oh. It's just so juicy. It's so creamy. Um, it just screams summertime. So yes, Tropical Pina Colada, Walmart Better Homes and Gardens, um, love. And then staying with Walmart, this is actually Mainstays. This is actually just a um, newfound love of mine. I discovered this maybe just a few months ago and it has become one of my favorites. And when I first got it, I really didn't like identify it as a summer scent, so to speak. But after warming it and kind of, you know, smelling it and being around it, I was like, that just screams summertime. And we are talking about sweet apple. Um, oh, y'all. Yeah. This is well, okay, the scent notes are juicy apple, pear, and vanilla, but to me, it just smells like, yes, a tart Granny Smith, but also a juicy Granny Smith apple. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it just, it screams summertime. It does, like you're, you know, you've gone apple picking, and I know a lot of people identify apple picking with the fall, but this does not give me fall vibes. This gives me summer vibes. It's so juicy and so tart and sweet all at the same time. Love it. 
that is Sweet Apple from Walmart Mainstays. So those are my only two retail. The rest of this here is Vendor. So I really didn't like rank these like one to 10. These are just my top 10. Um, this one, now if you've you know been a part of my channel for any amount of time, you've watched any of my videos, you know how I feel about cereal scents. Um, I know there's many people in wax world who, you know, love cereal and they can really melt cereal year round, which I get. I mean, I do understand that. But for me, and maybe, you know, it's just been since I've been in this wax community, uh, because I didn't start out this way. Like when I started out in wax, I was like cereal 12 months out of the year. And then the more I melted it, I was like, you know what? This just is summer to me. Like Fruit Loops, Fruity Pebbles, any kind of cereal scent, I, I identify with summertime. So this one here, this is Britta's, and this is Cereal Killer. Oh, Fruit Loops, Sweet and Creamy, Vanilla Bean, and Marshmallow. Wow. Yeah, this is so, so good. Um, it's definitely a cereal scent. It's definitely a Fruit Loop scent, but then she added in like that sweet and creamy and the vanilla bean and the marshmallow. So it's like a creamy cereal scent. Absolutely love it. Um, I think I've kind of gotten to that point in my wax journey where I'm just really saving my cereal scents, Fruit Loops, Fruity Pebbles for the summer. Um, that one, cereal killer, Britta's love. Okay. Um, also, this is Beezy's, um, and I was so excited when I watched Susan's um, video because she talked about how much she loves mango, mango sorbet, and I was like, I am right there with you, girl. Um, this is Beezy's mango sorbet. Um, first of all, Beezy's, um, such an underrated vendor. His stuff, oh yeah throws like crazy like crazy um this one little scent shot yeah <laughs> such a powerhouse um but his mango oh yeah and actually any mango for that matter oh yeah again juicy ripe sweet mangoes yeah i love love mango scents in the summer um, and actually, you know, I would take a mango scent uh, blended in with other things. But this one here, this Beezy's one, just straight up mango sorbet, love. It's just so summery, so bright, so fresh, love it. Um, okay, now this one here, um, <laughs> it's really, it's not this vendor, so to speak. It's mainly the scent. Um, and I was looking through my collection and I noticed that I don't have any um, in my collection except for this one little piece from this one little vendor. Um, so this is not vendor specific. This is mainly the scent. This is Satsuma. Uh, this particular uh, little tile here is from Columbia Candle Supply on Etsy. And I do love Columbia Candle Supply, but I don't like want you to think that I'm just, you know, singling out this vendor. Love this vendor, but Satsuma, I will take from any vendor because I don't feel like you can really mess up Satsuma. Um, so yeah, to me, it doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, who I order Satsuma from, I'm going to love it. <laughs> and yeah, this one, oh, that's so great, so great. Um, but again, I will take Satsuma from any vendor because I don't feel like you can really change it. It's just so good, no matter who you order it from. It's citrusy, like it is citrus on steroids. <laughs> um, I don't know if there are a lot of people out there watching me who feel the same way about Satsuma that I do. Um, I've had Satsuma in blends before and I've enjoyed that. But for summer, I, oh, I cannot get this back in here. I will take straight up Satsuma, single oil, 
not blended in with anything else. Like I just want straight Satsuma. I want that citrusy goodness. I'm gonna have to do that later. I cannot get that back in there. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, five down, five to go. Um, all right, uh, yeah, love, love, love. L3 Lemon Lime Frosty Fizzy Bubbly. And actually, like lemon lime, love. And then fizzy bubbly scents, love. And then together, oh yeah, oh yeah. Love, love, love. Um, again, kind of like with the cereal, fizzy scents, that's another thing that used to, when I first started out, I was like, oh yeah, fizzy, you know, I'll melt fizzy in October. <laughs> I didn't really know, but the more I melted it, the more I was around it, the more I smelled it, I was like, oh no, fizzy. I mean, that, could that not be any more summer? It's just so summery. And this one here, wow, it really truly does smell like a cold glass full of ice. You've just filled it with like a Sprite or a ginger ale and those bub 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 bub. <laughs> those bubbles are like fizzing up at the top. This is so good. It's such a summertime scent. Love that one. Okay, this one is also a um, newfound love of mine. This is from uh, the Waxy Shop uh, on Etsy. And actually, no, not just on Etsy. Um, I know she has a website as well. Um, that is Sarah's shop, my sweet Sarah. This uh, scent is Seize the Day. And um, this one has ozone, linen, eucalyptus, sea salt, freesia, and moss. This is the one that she used to call Sea Minerals. Um, when I first started buying it from her, it was called Sea Minerals. It was not called Seize the Day. She renamed it. Oh. <sighs> This right here, this is so beachy, so um, aquatic. And you know, it says on here sea salt, but with this scent, I really don't get like salty sea air as much as I get like that kind of misty sea spray. Like if you were walking along, you know, the shore and the waves come in and you just kind of get like a, a little whiff of that misty sea spray. Uh, yeah. And it's calming as well. I don't know if maybe that's the eucalyptus, but this one, as far as like salty sea air, beachy scents, this is probably at the top of my list. Like I would not have put it in this basket if I didn't love it as much as I do. It's amazing. Okay, um, this one here, again, this is not really vendor specific, um, but I do love this one. So I wanted to show y'all. Um, this is Copper Hue Suntan Lotion. So the reason I put this one in my basket is because I love suntan lotion scents, like copper tone suntan lotion scents. This one here is from Penny's Wax Melts, who is on Etsy. Um, this one, Oh, wow. This one, the reason I pulled this one out and put this one in my basket is because this one from Penny's is probably one of the strongest ones I've ever had as far as like copper tone suntan lotion scents go. This really does smell like I'm smelling the inside of a copper tone bottle. Oh. And I know that scent is not for everybody and it's not really for me either, except in the summer months. This is not something I would wanna smell you know, in January or in September, but in June, July, maybe even August, like I adore this. I don't mind that smell, that sunscreen smell. I love it, especially like on a day that you've been out at the beach or out at the pool. Love it, love it. Okay, two more. Um, yeah, this one. This is from the Burning Mitten. I love the Burning Mitten. I adore that vendor. And this scent, Sun Your Boom Boom. This is Sun Your Buns and Boom Boom. So when I first started out in my wax journey, I, I had no idea what Boom Boom was. No idea. And I saw people talk about it in their halls. And then I remember, um, oh yeah, ordering a scent uh, with Boom Boom in it. 
And I was like, that smells amazing. Like, I didn't even know it was a body care. Oh, what's not to love about this? Like, Boom Boom, again, is just so, so summery. It's like such a classic summertime scent. To me, Boom Boom is a little bit more sophisticated than just like a straight up, you know, copper tone scent. This is great. Um, and this is good too. It's just, it's kind of like a sophisticated sunscreen <laughs> or a body care. It's really good. Yeah. Burning Mitten, Sun, your boom boom. Love it. Okay. And my last one should not be a surprise to any of y'all what vendor we're talking about. This is That Smell Good Shop. Um, and this is her scoopable. And actually, um, like I've had this scent in many forms from her. I've had it in the six pack, um, but this scoopable was all I had in my collection. So I pulled this one out and this is in Fruit Loops. Um, oh, I've had many a Fruit Loops scent in my wax life, but that Smell Good Shop probably has one of, if not the best, just single oil, straight up Fruit Loops that I've ever smelled. Um, fruity cereal goodness with vanilla drizzled icing. It is so good. It smells exactly like what a Fruit Loop scent should smell like. Again, me and cereal scents, I mean, I'm all about them in the summertime. Um, it just, you know, it's so like, yeah, it brings back childhood memories, but then it's just, to me, it's just a happy scent. Like, I don't know how anybody could like come in somebody's house and smell that cereal smell and not be in a happy mood. <laughs> so yeah, that smell good shop, Fruit Loops. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm at 10 and 16 minutes. Okay, so that's it, you guys. Um, hope y'all enjoyed that. Thank you so much, Susan, again, for tagging me and including me in this. Um, I look forward to watching all of y'all's videos. Uh, it will take me some time to get through them all because, again, so many people are joining in on this. It's so fun to see. Um, so, my two people that I am going to tag, I am going to tag Carson, Carson Cole. All right, Carson, let's see what you got. What are your top 10 favorites? And then I'm also going to tag um, Nikki from Nikki's Wax Diary. Can't wait to see what yours are as well. And that is it, you guys. I want to thank y'all for clicking on, spending some time with me. And um, I hope to see you soon for another video. Bye, guys.